Hey, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com and uh, this is a lesson on how to play Territory by Sepultura. Now before we get into the lesson I'd like to mention uh, that when I was uh, learning this song I used my ears predominantly and uh, I pulled all of the riffs by ear. Uh, however, and also I was playing uh, to the track that is uh, recorded on the album from the Chaos AD album. Uh, however, when I was watching uh, a few covers on the on the YouTube, um, I've seen uh, you know um, a few discrepancies in a couple of riffs that people were playing. Uh, so I tried to investigate and look uh, more, and I was watching uh, more uh, live performances from Sepultura, and actually I found uh, there are couple of dif discrepancies uh, in the way that they play the riffs you know live and uh, on the album so I kinda uh, was curious what was going on and uh, I really sat down you know I um, happened to have a book which is uh, has the transcription of this song and I also uh, uh, try to to listen again very closely to the record and uh, strangely enough, uh, there are discrepancies uh, in a couple of riffs. However, um, I really tried to learn it and listen with, uh, with my ears to the song on the album. And uh, the version that I'm going to give you uh, is from the album. I don't know, maybe they changed some things around later on for playing live for easier playing or something. I don't know. But uh, uh, this version, this lesson is um, what it sounds like on the album. Uh, also, there is a backing track available on the internet that you can download. And uh, the way the bass is played there is uh, exactly the same as on the album. So, I don't know what's going on. If you know more about that, you know, let me know. Uh, I'll appreciate that. that um, However, with this lesson I'm going to stick to the uh, album's version, so um, keep that in mind. Uh, and uh, the discrepancies in the riffs, I'm going to tell you exactly in which, uh, in which riffs uh, they occur. So um, without further ado, let's get started. And uh, by the way, I'm in uh, one, one whole step down tuning, so here is my E. should say a D. Oh yeah, and one more thing before I start, uh, rather than going uh, playing one riff and explaining it, uh, I'm gonna do it in chunks, I mean like uh, take sections, for example the whole intro section, then we'll go to the verse and chorus, the breaks, the solo and so on. So I'm gonna play uh, a few figures together and then slow them down and explain them to you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the intro we start off by playing an E chord right here on the seventh position, going to E flat, and the rhythmic pattern slowly sounds like this. Then we go to the E power chord located here on the second second position and we play it for four bars and then we go to the next riff which is the first discrepancy that I've talked about before and it's um, I played an F uh, but the other very variation is uh, the open low E string so 
it sounds like this. Okay, and then we um, end up on the with the low E power chord again. Then there is a tempo change, slows down, and uh, the next part we go into the um, verses and choruses, and it sounds like this. Okay, so the first part we start off by playing an A flat going to F. And then we finish it off on the low E. And uh, playing the open G, B and E strings to create an E minor chord. Then we repeat it again. But this time finish it on the A. So, together, sounds like this. Okay, and uh, then we go into the uh, vocal line, riff under the vocal line, and uh, this is another one that has uh, variations that I've seen, uh, but I played like that. I played five, two, twice on the low E. So. Uh, I have seen people play it four, one, twice on the low E. So. I even have seen people play five, one, twice on the low E. So that's another one. Okay, so after that there is a break between the two verses and it's an F and it's uh, almost as the one in the beginning but a little slightly different um, rhythmic pattern. It starts off with an 8th um, note followed by 2 sixteenths, so it sounds like this. back to the verses and uh, uh, chorus. Okay, so after the second uh, verse and chorus, we leave it on the low E. And uh, here is the first break. position and uh, playing also the open E string. So we play two quarter notes on the chord, then uh, two eighth notes on the low E, then going back to the chord again for three times, for three quarter notes. 
uh, followed by four eighth notes. So again, slow together. Then we go into the um, this riff, the chords, and F sharp, going to G, and going to B flat. So together, the sound like this. Now we play this for two times, and then the third and fourth time we add a little trill when we go to the F sharp chord, and the trill is between the second and third fret, so it's. Then we come back to the first riff, and there is, uh, you know, uh, the vocals with it. And then we go into the um, next riff, which is which sounds like this. Here we play three eighth notes on the low E string, and then one eighth note on the uh, F chord, and repeat it continuously. And uh, this part is uh, we're going from E flat to E to F. Okay, next riff sounds like this. So here we play E chord, go into D flat, then F to D, and then second time. We leave it on the low E power chord. Then we come back to the previous riff. And then we go into the solo, which sounds like this. So the rhythm guitar underneath the solo is basically playing the E power chord on the seventh position and going to the um, E flat on the sixth position. And uh, the rhythmic pattern is a little bit uh, strange, but uh, just listen to it a couple of times and you you'll get how to play. So let me play it slowly a little bit. The second part, uh, we play uh, just uh, the E flat chord, and it's uh, we play three times doubles with the rest between in between, and the fourth time it's three times. So it sounds like. Okay, so after that there is a drum break, and then we go into the, uh, uh, the the chorus, the verse and the chorus again, and uh, after that 
there is a couple more riffs at the end and they sound like this. Okay, so basically we build up on the F chord with the drums and it's uh, we play so basically we play three times palm muted and on the fourth time we open it up and uh, then we go into the riff that we did before which is It's basically just that and um, we finish it off on the F chord and that's it. Oh yeah, just one thing to mention here when playing this riff. Uh, you know, I've seen An Andreas Kisser actually, he plays a, a slight variation of that. Uh, he's holding uh, sort of the F chord right here on the uh, eighth position and just barring it with one finger so it would be an F and then the um, B flat you know just like this and playing these two or three strings and playing it like that okay well that's it regarding this lesson I hope you found it useful and uh, if you happen to know more about these discrepancies that I've talked about in this in the playing this riffs, please let me know. I would like uh, to learn more about it. And um, if you did like this lesson, please hit the like button, uh, help the channel grow. And uh, until next time, take it easy and may the force be with you.